Just over seven years ago, the US Air Force was on the verge of culling its entire fleet of A-10 Thunderbolt IIs, better known as Warthogs. In 2014, the then USAF Chief of Staff, General Mark Welsh III, said the Air Force had to retire the A-10 completely if it was to make substantial cuts to its budgets, and that it required freed up funding and manpower to be channeled into the stand-up of new F-35 units. Welsh claimed disposing with the close air support stalwart would save $3.7 billion across the five-year future year defense program and another $500 million in cost avoidance for upgrades that would not be necessary. How times have changed. In 2017, it was announced that the aircraft would now be kept in the Air Force's inventory indefinitely. And today, we are going to take a closer look at what makes this aircraft so special. The A-10 Thunderbolt is also known as the Warthog, the Flying Gun, and the Tank Buster. Its first ever flight was in May 1972, and a total of 716 aircraft were produced. The production of A-10 aircraft came to an end in 1984. Originally manufactured by Fairchild, since 1987, the prime contractor for the A-10 has been Northrop Grumman, which carries out support and structural upgrade programs from Integrated Systems and Aerostructures Divisions at Bethpage, New York, and at St. Augustine in Florida. The Warthog was designed to provide close air support to friendly ground troops by attacking armored vehicles, tanks, and other enemy ground forces. It is the only production-built aircraft designed solely for close air support to have served with the U.S. Air Force. Its secondary mission is to direct other aircraft in attacks on ground targets, a role called Forward Air Controller Airborne. Aircraft used primarily in this role are designated OA-10. The A-10 is perhaps best known for its fearsome GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun mounted to the nose. The GAU-8 is designed to fire armor-piercing depleted uranium and high-explosive incendiary rounds. The first in-flight testing of the GAU-08 began in 1974, and it was tested in a variety of flight profiles, from as high as 25,000 feet to as low as 100 feet and from speeds ranging from just under 250 km per hour to nearly 773 km per hour and up to 5 Gs. The seven-barrel Gatling-style gun was originally designed to fire upwards of 4,200 rounds per minute, but has since been reduced to a still impressively high 3,900 rounds per minute. Each of the 30mm cartridges that are spat out by the GAU-08 is larger than a typical beer bottle, and it took two hydraulic motors to spin the barrels all of which would shake the aircraft and produce clouds of hot gas. Everything in the A-10 is designed to make room for the gun, including the nose landing gear, offset to the right of the aircraft so that the firing barrel lines up along the center of the airframe. As the gun's recoil forces could push the entire plane off target during strafes, the gun itself is mounted laterally off-center, slightly to the port side of the fuselage center line with the actively firing barrel in the 9 o'clock position when viewed from the front of the aircraft, so that the firing barrel lies directly on the aircraft's center line. The firing barrel also lies just below the aircraft's center of gravity, being bore-sided along a line 2 degrees below the aircraft's line of flight. This arrangement accurately centers the recoil forces, preventing changes in aircraft pitch or yaw when fired. Each of its seven barrels has an internal rifling grove which passes through the whole length of the barrel so that a spin on each round can be induced. The rounds of bullets stored in the drum weigh about 4,000 pounds. This means that the weight of the rounds and their shells has to be taken into consideration to position the center of gravity of the aircraft. Without the rounds, you would actually have to put ballast on the nose on an empty gun to balance the aircraft. Other design features of the Warthog support the operation of the Avenger. For instance, the slat on each wing. These are not slats in the traditional airplane sense, as they do not generate lift nor help the pilot land at any slower, but they smooth the airflow off the wing in the engine and prevent stalls when the aircraft flies at high angle of attack. It also helps diverting the gun gas underneath the wing so it does not suffocate the engine, as the gun gas does not have oxygen when the aircraft uses the gun. There is also a wind fence that, when the gun is shooting, diverts the gas down the fuselage. The Warthog can employ a wide variety of conventional munitions, including up to 10 Maverick air-to-surface missiles. The Raytheon Maverick AGM-65 missile uses a variety of guidance systems, including imaging infrared guidance and warheads, including high penetration, 
57 kg conical shaped charged warhead with range more than 45 km. The A-10 can also carry the Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, which is an all-aspect short-range missile with maximum speed over Mach 2. This aircraft is capable of deploying a wide range of ordnance. For example, the LDGP Mark 82 226 kg 500 pound general purpose bombs, BLU-1 and BLU-27B Rock I-2 cluster bombs and cluster bomb units CBU-5271. The maneuverability at low speed and low altitude below 1,000 feet allows accurate and effective targeting and weapon delivery over all types of terrain. The two non-afterburning turbofan engines TF-34GE100 supplied by General Electric each supply 9,065 pounds of thrust. The location of the engines, high on the fuselage, allows the pilot to fly the aircraft easily with one engine inoperable. In fact, this aircraft is designed to be able to fly with one engine, half of the tail, one elevator, and half of a wing missing. The A-10 is battle-hardened to an exceptional degree, being able to survive direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles up to 23 mm. It has double redundant hydraulic flight systems and a mechanical system as backup if hydraulics are lost. The single-seat cockpit is protected by all-around armor with a titanium bathtub-style structure to protect the pilot that is up to 3.8 centimeters thick. The cockpit has a large bulletproof bubble canopy which gives good all-around vision. It is equipped with a heads-up display which is used for targeting and weapon aiming, a have-quick secure radio communication system, inertial navigation, and a tactical air navigation system. The Warthog can be serviced and operated from austere bases with limited facilities near battle areas. Many of the aircraft's parts are interchangeable left and right, including the engines, main landing gear, and vertical stabilizers. The A-10 Precision Engagement Modification Program from 2006 to 2010 updated all A-10 and OA-10 aircraft in the fleet to the A-10C standard. The United States Air Force completed a project to re-wing a portion of its A-10C fleet on July 25, 2019. The project began in 2007 when Boeing received a $1.1 billion contract to provide 173 sets of wings. The new wings are expected to last for up to 10,000 equivalent flight hours without requiring a depot inspection and will permit the modified aircraft to remain in service through 2030 or beyond. A further project to provide 112 additional wing sets for the remaining A-10Cs was funded in fiscal year 2018. The service is acquiring the wing sets under the A-10 Thunderbolt Advanced Wing Continuation Kit program. A long-held ambition to re-engine the A-10s is not included in current plans. New parts suppliers with modern techniques may help restore the original engine thrust of the General Electric TF-34 engines rather than the slight detune that the aircraft currently operates with. Together, this host of capability upgrades will keep the A-10 at the forefront of the United States Air Force Close Air Support mission for at least another decade, and likely substantially longer. A lot will depend on whether or not the U.S. Air Force decides to mount another attack on the Thunderbolt II fleet, but with new investments being made to recapitalize the A-10 force and with reduced interest in a successor or new light attack platform, all indications are that the A-10 will not be going away anytime soon. What do you think of this amazing flying machine? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.